I don't want to slave away working for a company anymore. I'm tired of it. This past month, I've made a video with 3,500 views. I've gotten dislikes don't matter on YouTube. YouTube only cares that it's engagement. How do you hurt a content creator? Well, it's not by disliking videos. Nobody's stopping you. If you don't want to watch somebody anymore, all you have to do, it's oversaturated. I'm not going to stand out by doing that. I'm going to stand out by doing something that nobody else is doing. And as of right now, nobody's really doing podcasts. It's a YouTube problem, not raid specifically, that you can't maintain discipline or you can't think for yourself to the point that you have to buy things because other people are buying them, right? That's a you problem. These are the same people that want people to do everything for them. He would rather have CCs make longer videos with all the information than short videos where information is being cut for the purpose of shortening the video. I wanna thank you guys for 3000 subs and the way I'm going to thank you guys is by doing a giveaway. I asked you guys one person wins a forge pass or two people each getting one monthly gem pack. It looks like most of you guys would prefer to do two people winning with a monthly gem pack. I'm gonna pick randomly past giveaways. People were just using multiple accounts on YouTube. So you go to Discord, picked on Discord, and then I'm gonna have you verify by telling you in the DMs uh, something very specific to type into the YouTube comments uh, after you get pulled. When you guys win, I'm gonna log into your accounts on stream. I'll try to do it this weekend. Stream is going to be at 2000 at 8 p.m. UTC. Watch the video if you ask me what to write or what the rules are or or what time it is or anything along those lines, I'm not going to respond to you. I'm probably just gonna give you like a, a smiley face or something, or I'll, I'll put like a 100 emoji. What do you wish that content creators would do or do differently? Clickbaits, man, every champion team is the best champion, best team, don't miss, includes thumbnails too. It just feels fake and misleading. I understand you're trying to get clicks as it's your livelihood, but man, I will never lose more respect for a CC than when they lie and over-exaggerate to their fans, right? So I get what people are coming from, but this is an entire YouTube thing. Everywhere you go on YouTube, you're gonna have the whole arrow, circle, big bold text, contrasting colors, face, face, just people's face with their mouths wide open. Um, it's just it's just kind of the, the thing here, more face, more big bold contrasting popping text, attractive women. But again, it's all of YouTube, right? And I've talked about this before, interesting singular picture that kind of looks uh, creepy and disgusting and a quote, I'm so fucking hungry, Bill. That's the title, that's a pretty good title. And text, we've got faces, a face, big bold contrasting text, attractive woman. Everything on YouTube is basically advertising, right? Uh, fame hacking, especially right now, because it's popular, the whole P Diddy situation. We have text, we've got arrows, because it works. And how do I know it works? Because I've been experimenting with you guys on my videos to see if it works. I literally put clickbait title in my video and it's a summoning video. I've got shards and I even start out by summoning shards, but guess what? Nobody's clicking it, why? I don't know, but it's it's literally telling you guys clickbait title. Almost the same thumbnail, the same um, deck of fates background with shards on there, but I changed the title and it says pulling all the shards and big bold text, pulling all shards to finish the deck of fates. I'm down bad for hammer of faith. It's the same video, a different account pulling shards on a different account, but it's essentially the same video. And this one is approaching 9,000 views versus this one. So anybody saying like, oh, I hate it when content creators use clickbait titles or clickbait thumbnails, it has to work that way, right? Would you go to a burger store if there was absolutely no advertising? Like it's hard to, to want to walk into a store if there's no advertising. A lot of restaurants purposely vent out the scent of food to entice people to come in. Some places have big attractive pictures of food. Nowadays, I'm kind of being silly. P Diddy and Wixwell, it's a, it's a conversation about the Wixwell potential nerf. I'm not saying that there's, there's gonna be a nerf, but I'm just saying that's what the conversation is about. And the title is literally the ABCs. I showed a picture, it's a thumbnail, me summoning lightning. I told you guys exactly who I summoned and I'm showing the picture of that. I think this one, I was testing it. I think it's the thumbnail that did very well. I don't think it's too much about the title here, even though I explicitly told you guys what it is, but you guys see what I've been doing, right? I've been experimenting with you guys to see, okay, well, what aspects of YouTube are most enticing to people? Is it the title? Is it the thumbnail? The holy trinity for YouTube videos is always going to be thumbnail, title, video idea. This one was pretty funny. I told you guys to dislike the video. Yeah, this one's pretty funny. I told you guys to dislike the video and it got a whopping 183 dislikes. And the reason I did this was because I was trying to prove a point that dislikes don't matter on YouTube. A lot of people don't know this. YouTube doesn't give a fuck about your guys' dislikes. What are dislikes? Dislikes are an indicator to the content creator. The audience didn't like their video. YouTube doesn't give a shit about that. YouTube only cares that it's engagement, right? So this video got 2000 views. People like to give thumbs downs on videos 
thinking they're doing something. You're not doing anything. You're only helping us. So you might uh, dislike a video like this one where I'm talking about how crit uh, damage does matter to a certain point. Five dislikes. I don't know what people have against me explaining how crit damage works, but that could be an indicator to me to look back at the video and say, okay, well, what did I do wrong? Or what, where was I messing up in the explanation of my video? How do you hurt a content creator? Well, it's not by disliking videos. Let's say I don't want to watch uh, this August the Duck guy anymore, right? I don't like him. This is what you do. You click don't recommend channel. You click it, boom. You're not going to see this guy again. That sends a signal to YouTube that, hey, um, there's something up with this content creator. And if, if enough people do that, then that's how you hurt a content creator. I think it's kind of funny, the progression of how I used to do my videos. I used to just have no thumbnails. I used to put my face in the thumbnails with my mouth wide open, no ditty. Our eyes naturally gravitate towards faces and I wanted people to be able to associate my face with my videos and my channel. But I feel like that's not really that important anymore. So I've stepped away from putting my face in it. And then this was actually my first video that I did where I was just reacting to uh, Reddit comments. And I figured, from here because you guys enjoyed this video so much and a lot of you guys told me that you liked it I figured this could be my niche thing you know the podcast style thing so four months ago that's when I started doing a lot of uh, reddit react videos or just reacting to comments it's very easy to do I'm not gonna lie so but you guys are enjoying it and I'm enjoying it too it helps me keep a pulse on what a lot of people are talking about in raid I can do all the champion guides and I can do all of the dungeon guides but there are so many other content creators who are already doing that there's not really a spot in it for me to do but I do do it for champions that I really enjoy and really want to do it's oversaturated I'm not gonna stand out by doing that I'm gonna stand up by doing something that nobody else is doing and as of right now nobody's really doing podcasts at least that the volume that I'm doing and the, the consistency that I'm doing what does the audience actually care about? Is it the thumbnail or the title? Because a lot of people complain about, again, a lot of people complain about content creators with their thumbnails and the titles, but the numbers are not lying. You guys prefer to have the attractive thumbnails and the attractive titles. You want to be pulled in, but you're going to complain about it at the same time. But I'm not trying to um, dismiss what people are saying. I get where they're coming from. Exciting thumbnail beating Odin and then title that hooks you and tells you about a full auto team for stage 30 of the Odin event dungeon. Nobody clicked it. But the very next video, same video showing the same thing, but I put an attractive thumbnail, a better title. Same video, you guys not you specifically, but I'm just saying you in general, you guys didn't click this one. The people didn't really care about this one, but they cared about this one. A thousand views versus 143 views. And a lot of people want to say like, oh, content creators make a living off of YouTube. I have no doubt that if you're at the level that Hell Hades and Ashes, that you could definitely uh, go full time on YouTube. I don't know for sure, but just to give you guys a reference, the way it works, the ad companies will pay content creators per video. So a video with 3,500 views, I've gotten $6, $7 out of it, right? Uh, estimated. And it's all from ads. For this specific video, per thousand views, advertisers are going to pay $8.76. But the other thing that also matters is how long people are watching. Let's look at this one that I did. This one has only, only 500 views. I got a dollar. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It takes a lot of time to edit and put out and record videos. That's not including all the retakes that I did. For an example, this video, I had to reshoot it over and over again because I had my volume up, so I was talking to nobody. This one did a lot better. This one has $50 in, in revenue. So like you need to understand um, every video has a different CPM, the amount that advertisers are willing to pay. Let's check this one, uh, Thor in Live Arena, I'm testing out Thor in Live Arena, 13 bucks. A Savage uh, Pixneo, that one got $11. It's got more views than the Thor video, it made less money, right? So it, it's kind of hard to, to know exactly what and why. This one, 45 bucks for almost 10,000 views. This past month, I made $343.85 in, in revenue for this month. Before that, the month prior, $267. Before that, $107. Before that, $94. But they didn't even pay me out that time because you need to have $100 for the month for them to pay you out. And then May, $137. I got monetized back in February. This is after hundreds and hundreds of hours of editing and posting videos and recording everything. February is when I got monetized and I start. I didn't actually start making money until months after that, until March. March, I made my first $4. And then it just scales, right? So you might see that and think, oh, you know, $1,200, you know, he's making he's making money. That's over eight months. Who's going to live off of $1,200 for eight months? Like this is not making a living like a lot of people want to assume. But again, it is scalable. So if you're somebody like Ash or Hell Hades, 
you bet your ass they're making a fuck ton more money than, than I am. So like once I grow and once I, I scale this on, on this channel and my other two channels, I think I'm going to be able to go um, full time on YouTube, which is what I want to do, right? I don't want to slave away working for a company anymore. I'm tired of it. Like I, I, I don't want to have a boss anymore. I want to be my own, my own boss. I want to have my own schedule. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with doing that. I think that if you work a traditional job, you know, that's totally fine. A lot of people have their reasons. I'm not trying to put a blanket or put anybody else down. I'm just saying for me personally, that's not my goal. That's not my aim. I don't find passion in uh, working for somebody else or like a at a different company anymore that's just not me so yes we earn money off of you guys watching us the more you watch the more we get paid but it's not a lot of money back to this discussion clickbait thumbnails calling upcoming fusions meta changes anti mons when they really ain't stop calling fusion champions and login champions from three years ago free champions most don't have udk anymore and this goes for all cc's Fuck off with your clickbait. Here's how you beat this boss with four rares. The fifth champ is a plus four endgame geared mythical, basically soloing the boss as the rares just sit there, look cute for the video. I over exaggerate, but you get the point. And then I would remind you guys that, hey, again, if you don't want to see a specific content creator and you don't like their thumbnails, then you can just go ahead and click don't recommend channel or not interested. Don't sit there and take their clickbait titles and thumbnails and then not do anything about it. I'm showing you guys how to do it. They should stop spending money. I'm, I'm not spending any money. Why? It's a business for them. They spend it to make it back like any other business. Oh, well, I mean, I guess that makes sense because like I, I spent money for the PC, the, the lights, the camera. Like I, I do spend money for, for YouTube video games on like my other channels, but it's a uh, tax deferral. That doesn't mean I like it. On top of that, it leads to unhealthy behavior from both the content creator and community. I don't necessarily agree with that. Just because you see us spending money doesn't mean you have to be spending money too, right? You should be able to think for yourself. Just because I'm buying the new iPhone doesn't mean you should go buy the iPhone yourself. I mean, that that's more of a reflection on yourself that you can't maintain discipline or you can't think for yourself to the point that you have to buy things because other people are buying them, right? That's a you problem. The creator, if they spend just to try to make a profit out of the video and they grow the brand, if it has addiction behind it, we don't know unless he specifically states that in the video. And most CCs always say that spending in the game is unhealthy and can be harmful for each one of us. You've never heard a CC saying that he was going to open 200 primals and that you should too. If it leads to someone spending too, the fault is on that person's side since most likely he has enough age to know the consequences of their own actions. Quit clicking things like masteries, gear, presets so fast. They will be on the screen for like a fourth of a second, then I end up spending so much time trying to pause at the right moment. If your passion for the game is gone, move on to other content. A few big CCs now obviously only play raid to make content. They don't put much effort into their videos, have a terrible attitude, and give out generic bad advice. You can use blank and to move frame wise in YouTube's video and I still agree though. Saying stuff like this champion can solo such and such dungeon without explaining you must have insane regen immortal gear to do otherwise. The champ in fact can't solo and seem to forget that gear is everything in the game not the champ not the champ helps but if you have bad gear the champ will just insta die. That's true. Improve their math. Honest it's quite frightening most of them are struggling with simple multiplication. I can live with the clickbait but seeing them struggle with simple math that sucks. 1 plus 1 equals fish. Eh, what can they honestly do to change anything? They're already scraping the bottom of the barrel on one front and fighting Polarium's lack of communication in general, aloofness on the other. I don't like patting anyone on the back. Go look in their comic section. It's full of dweebs venting frustrations in the wrong places. I'd probably stop with the best character in this and that faction videos though. Rest is fine with CCs. Everyone clickbaits, so it's a YouTube problem, not raid specifically. When CCs actually get a chance to talk to Polarium, they sit there, rant and flame in their normal videos, but when they get their chance, they're like fucking puppy dogs. Give Cole Red the chance to interview Cyrilla and hope he does a better job. I swear they got a degree in Yapology. They tend to yap on about unrelated topics, have to like rapid fast forward just to see the topic. Champion showcase with end OP gear. If you're stuck in mid game, you probably don't have OP end gear, but I don't know, clickbait thumbnails are a bit overused. Anybody who's in the end game, not just content creators, but we all work hard and we worked a long time or we just spent a lot of money, let's be honest. To get to this point, I don't have beginner game gear. There's a limit to how much gear we have. Let me get this straight. You want me to keep beginner game gear just to show you guys how to build your characters like this? I think it's more important that you understand the reasons, and I think it's also on the CCs to explain it, understand the priority stats and the reasons behind it, and then scale it to your account. So if I say, oh, priority is attack and crit damage, and let's say I say it's like 5,000 with 250 crit damage. Now you can sit there and say, oh, well, I, I can't get that. Well, obviously, scale it down to your account. Drop it down to whatever it is that works for you. If that's 3,000 attack and like 150 crit damage, good, that's fine scale it to your account. And then eventually when you do get the gear, 
then you know what stats to, to work on, but you're understanding the idea, the premise behind why you're building certain characters out. And then you might say, oh, I don't have a bunch of Slayer gear. Well, that's fine. What's the idea behind Slayer gear? Just pumping out more damage, right? If you just take the time to, to read it, increase additional damage. If this is going to be a damage dealer, then I can just go Savage. And then some people might say, oh, I don't have Savage gear. That's fine. Well, guess what? You have Cruel gear. Well, I don't have six star, five star Cruel gear, bro. Scale it to your account. And the reason I have such a, a, a big deal against people like this is because these are the same people that want people to do everything for them. These are the same people who aren't willing to take the time to learn how to play the game. They just want someone to do it for them. They're not actually trying to learn the game. They want everything just handed to them. And I've got a problem with that. Learn the game, understand how things work, and then think for yourself. Scale it to your account. Stop making 10 minute videos just to give us a new promo code. Get to the point quicker. Every video is like 15 to 20 minutes, way too long. And uh, you're not the target audience because most people that I've talked to on like Discord or like the YouTube community prefer my longer videos than my uh, shorter videos. And the analytics also show that. I'm not gonna you know jump too far into it, but my most popular videos are over 10 minutes, right? Longer videos perform better. And the more you understand YouTube, the more you're gonna understand everything. But like, for example, this one is only nine minutes, barely 10 minutes, but it's a searchable thing on how to do a specific thing. Same thing with here. But like most of them are going to be over 10 minutes. Like this one, this was 35 minutes. This one's almost 18 minutes. This one was over 10 minutes. This one is 40 minutes. This one did pretty well. This one's 30 minutes. So aside from searchable content, most videos that are longer tend to perform well. I'm always a bit annoyed when I watch informative videos where CCs say they think something is or works in a certain way. Oh, I think the base speed is 115 on Siffy. If the purpose of the video is to give out information, fact check before making a video or pause the recording, do research, then continue recording. Siffy has a 114 base speed. I don't think CCs need to have a script, but making notes somewhat following them makes sectioning the video and finding specific information better. Please stop trying to make shorter videos. Over the few years, I saw many CCs say viewers complain their videos are too long. Honestly, fuck that. If there's a part of the video viewers don't care for, they can skip it. He would rather have CCs make longer videos with all the information than short videos where information is being cut for the purpose of shortening the video. Exactly. And I think this is probably like the best rebuttal to this guy complaining about stop making a 10 minute video. And then I asked you guys in my community post, what do you guys want to see more from me? Is there any way that I can prove? What changes do you want to see? A lot of you guys are really positive. And you know, part of that is because uh, I pretty much block any shit talker or anybody who's just an absolute fucking idiot who doesn't want to actually have an academic conversation. They just want to talk shit. I just block them. Dev says he wants more Live Arena. MC Crossout says, I enjoy what you're doing. No clickbait. It's the news, Reddit, Live Arena, you name it. You don't give a fuck. Keep it up. I love my wife. There you go. I do love my wife. It is time to initiate your wife into raid and do sh more shard pulls together. <laughs> Michael says he likes my live arena stuff. Johnny says she said to check out Flame of Valhalla. I checked it out. I don't think it's for me. Nick says live arena. Theory craft video about Polarium's next big collab. And I actually did do a video later on uh, about that, talking about the next big collab. That video on Thor running Spider-10 got me through that event like a breeze. See? So, you know, I'm not all just reaction. I... I sometimes give out some shit that's good. I would like to see a video where you beat all content, uh, all content and raid with only common champs. That's impossible, but more realistic. Keep doing what you're doing, and most important, stay who you are. That's what I do, baby. That's what I do. Love oxygen not included. Did some on my channel, but wasn't enough to catch on. Always supporting. Always support game getting more love. I like the long videos, whether it's Reddit, game, or live arena. You guys are my target audience. I'm not looking for people that scroll through Instagram with their, you know, one minute, ten second videos. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm not trying to appeal to the TikTok talk people who don't have the patience to watch a 10 minute video. I prefer to mess around with the people who like the longer form content who are here to, to stay and hang out, right? That's that's me. Not that all my videos are going to be like 30 minutes to an hour. I'm just saying, you know, if I feel like putting out a long video, I don't want people to complain about it. And if you do complain about it, go ahead, point yourself out. I'll just block you too. He was basically asking me to do an how to do artifact enhancement. I did that video for him. I would love a video comparing higher stats over lower, but with ignore defense. 75k attack with 300 crit damage with no ignore defense versus 5,000 to 6,000 attack, 250 crit damage with ignore defense. I thought that was a really good idea. So that's something I'm going to do. But when I saw you last night, I was overjoyed. But then I hit you, you don't answer. I'm over.